President Trump's pro-business agenda is driving growth in America. The market's continuing to hit new highs this past week. Investors are celebrating this administration's promises of tax reform and a rollback in regulations. I spoke with former Chrysler and Home Depot CEO Bob Nardelli and asked him to characterize what he's seeing in the business world right now. It's 180 degrees from where we were about a year ago in the, under the other administration. I think what we've seen in in regulation, rollback, you know, the guideline, if you want to add one, you got to take two off. You look at the reduction in EPA, you look at some of the regulation controls, that's been very positive. I think uh, CEO confidence overall, the colleagues that I talked to, we talked earlier about they're now starting to invest, they're spending more capex, they're creating jobs. The other thing that's really amazing to me, and I use the term, you either innovate or you evaporate in today's mm, world. I like that. And we're seeing a lot of innovation out there, both in products and in services. I mean, one of the biggest things for Amazon is solving consumer problems, right? That's how they really are, are serving the market. And I see it not only at the large corporations, but we looked at about 267 companies so far this year. Uh, and a lot of these are smaller, mid-cap businesses. And we're seeing, you know, an opportunity for them to either get some growth capital, where they've been kind of restrained lately. Uh, they're excited about the potential tax implications for small businesses and the boost that will give them. I'm also seeing a lot of family offices out there today, Maria, that are pulling away from traditionally investing in funds and wanting to go directly to market. So it's really great for us to go out and work with a family office and be able to find opportunities for them to invest as a partnership because they, they aren't then straddled with, I got to invest in three and I got to be out in four. Mm -hmm. And they could be patient, long term, good capital growth, good equity growth kinds of companies. So I, I'm really excited. I think uh, this is a real boom for, for business and the economy. We saw it in the GDP. We saw a jobs thing go down. Yeah. So this is a great environment that we're enjoying right now. It Interest really rates, everything. For the first time in a long time, you've got firms like Goldman Sachs, Barclays, looking for 4% global growth next year. And obviously, we've had two quarters back to back of 3% plus economic growth. I want to ask you about the small and mid-cap companies and the tax impact. But first, let's talk about regulation for a second, because you hit on something that I think is really important. Yeah. This president has been the least regulatory president. He's lowered the number. He's cut the number of federal pages in terms of red tape, yes. just laws and, and regulations, um, which come with fees and, and, and a lot of red tape, bureaucracy. Yeah. He's cut that by 36%. Amazing. I mean, it, it it's, uh, was stifling. Uh, people would not even go through the process because they knew it was long, it was laborious, it was costly, and may end up, you know, with, I'll say, a broken deal expense. And so now there's a lot more incentive, uh, a lot more encouragement to go out and do those things as, as entrepreneurs. And, and uh, I think we're seeing the reaction in the market to that, Maria. Let me ask you about the tax plan, because small and mid-cap companies seem to be among the real beneficiaries here. Yes. Characterize the importance of this, because small and mid-cap companies are the job creators. We want to see an environment for those companies to actually invest, you know, encourage them to invest in the business, hire more workers. And many small-cap companies go by the individual rate, exactly. the which was 39.6 percent. Yes. So right now they're paying 40 percent. They may very well, after once this legislation takes place, pay 20, 25 percent. I mean, much lower. This is a big deal. Huge. It's huge. And, you know, we look at a number of companies like that. You know, I employ a number of companies like that. And just think about a 20 percent, 20 percentage points reduction. Uh, they're all talking about the opportunity now to grow rather than restrict. Uh, they have this incentive now with medical care and some of the other taxes. So I, I think, you know, if this thing passes, we'll see, you know, tremendous growth in those mid-cat companies. It gives them, you know, more competitiveness to go out there and employ people and to reinvest in innovation and new products. Don't go anywhere. More of my interview with Bob Nardelli when we come back on Wall Street Week.